Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. Thursday, July 6. Our market dropped 38.13 points or down 0.59% to close at 6,474.26 value turnovers at 3.5 billion pesos. No? So it's a very uh, thin market. No? So market is just trading sideways. No? So most sectors declined today led by property. Uh, yung nga, financials yun lang market today which is up 0.20%. No? So SM Prime uh, drag the index following news na yun nga, they're pushing back the IPO of the biggest rate. No? It's a 50 billion IPO. There's no appetite in this kind of market. So, next year na lang daw. So, it looks like pati nga si Prime Infra mauusog yan to next year. No? There's no appetite. No? So, Globe Converge Monday. Metro Bank will conclose higher today. No? BPI, no? So, uh, they also announced uh, they're waiving the transfer fee for transactions below 1,000. Uh, ito yung sa Instapay. SGP, uh, they also receive a show cost letter from ERC, Energy Regulatory Commissions, for the delay in the completion of more than 30 projects. Uh, MY, no? So, after a one-day trading suspension, it was lifted, no? So, nag up, up in the morning, tapos nahulog rin, no? So, they're also venturing into property developer, no? So, uh, they acquired a sister or affiliate company, sila rin naman may area na for around 5 billion pesos. No? But at least, they're slowly diversifying their business. No? So, pati property developing, pinasok na rin nila. No? So, CNPF also expects some strong sales this 2023, 2023 no? due to easing of inflation pressures in the second half. No? If you are not monitoring the news, uh, finally, that peak the inflation the previous months no? so but, uh, with inflation number at 5.4 i think that's a 30 month low so anyway sabi naman ni BSP governor no uh, our new BSP governor si Remo Leona no? uh, BSP could cut interest rates if inflation falls to 4% so let's monitor that Sa dito naman, no, they expect break-even point by 2025 and they're looking at profitability by 2028. Uh, yun nga, they also got uh, uh, Medal Dia as their new independent director. No? So, he used to be our executive secretary no, during Duterte's administration. So, Dito is building a world-class state-of-the-art telecom infrastructure and building a digital company in five years' time problem there no kung aabot pa ba ng 5 years dito no they're bleeding cash no? if you are also monitoring the other Dennis Oy stocks they've been suspended since they cannot uh you know report their annual fs on time so anyway ICT also laid out its comprehensive decarbonization plan for uh, scope 1 and 2 by the end of 2023 to reduce greenhouse gas emissions so, MPI is just trading sideways, so probably in the next two months. No? So, August, they will have a meeting. Of course, I'm trimming my positions here again. No? Okay lang yung sa akin, buy high, sell higher. No? There will be some opportunities in the market right now. Uh, DG Plus is also one of them. Uh, after that uh, big cross transaction yesterday of 50 mil 45 million shares, close to 150 million. Uh, we already extensively discussed uh, DG Plus, no? So this is can uh, this can be an interesting trade, no? So and can be an outlier this twenty twenty three. So if you are checking their uh, performance, no? three straight quarters na sila ng ganta ng earnings growth, no? Above two hundred percent. So this first quarter they also generated around four hundred million net income. No? So this is a change, no? A clear. Uh, change of uh, guard, patawag doon. From recurring losses, biglang kumikita na na sustained profitability. Uh, lalo it's a bet on on the online bingo boom. Uh, it's also trading at a single digit uh, PE. Uh, so there might be some mismatch in the valuation there. Uh, of course, it just followed uh, SSI's move. Uh, 
So, yung mga outlier natin, SSI, uh, DG+, even ION. Yan yung mga turnaround stories that the market wants right now. What else? Si sure pass, no? Uh, we'll do some uh, conversion of advances to equity. So the conversion price will be above the market price or above the 30-day VWAP, no? Kaya kanina, ni try laruin. No? But, uh, yun, nakabenta rin tayo dyan, eh. No? Of course, we made money. But yun nga, maliit lang naman yun. The problem with, with sure pass is very illiquid. No? You cannot uh, bet like a million pesos if you're buying a million pesos worth. Uh, ilan yun? ng milyong shares. Ang hirap rin ang exit. So, yung sa akin naman dyan, it's more of a literal na ano lang, yung mga trading natin dyan. So, Megaworld will also be putting up its first pitch side project in Palawan. No? So, so, they are expected to generate around 2 billion in sales there. So, yung CIP, they're acquiring uh, Sierra Ariana Ecola, no? So, they will get an indirect control over Bill Invest Financial Center condominium project. So, Double Dragon, no? So, yung Hotel 101 nila in Libis Bridge now, has already acquired the required permits as they begins uh, selling units in Libis City. Uh, Libis, Quezon City. Alam, ganyan market. Uh, on other news, no, this is the PUTSI and MSCI rebalancing. So, I did, I did post this in my Twitter account. As you know, na, dami nags screenshot tapos with, without uh, the proper citation. No? But I hope you appreciate that we will share them here in this YouTube channel. So, MSCI, no, uh, announcement will be on August 11 with the implementation of our August 31, it looks like uh, there will be some inflow on EMI no? or around $84 million or around 107 times the average daily volume. No? Uh, there will be some outflow on AC. No? So that's around 3.9 uh, million shares, equivalent around $43.5 million, equivalent around 5.2 times average daily volume. Let's see. Uh, announcement date will be next month, August 18, with the implementation of around September 15. Uh, expect SM no, to add around 18.6 million shares, around 310.8 million dollar inflow. This is equivalent to around 67 times the average daily volume. About this power, no, we'll have some deletion. No? So this, there will be some outflow around 59.1 million shares which is equivalent to around 41.1 million dollars around 83 times the average daily volume this, this is also the reason why i can see some funds starting to rebalance as early as now but there will be some opportunity there ma outflow na ganyan yan yung masarap sundan eh pili ka pag mura tapos benta ka pag mataas even aling nga drop no below our purchase price. We were able to get out there. Sarap i-swing trade talaga. Ang huli natin galaw. Uh, AC, no? will also have some uh, outflow of around 1.5 million shares, equivalent around 16.2 million dollars, equivalent around 11.9 times average daily volume. And with the index rebalancing next month, no? August yan eh, Twice a year lang naman, every February and August, no? And it looks like there will be some, there will be no addition and deletion for that. Unless, of course, uh, yung off-cycle na lang inaantay natin. No? So, if MPI successfully delist, no, in September, uh, we expect Bloomberry to be added, no? Which we expect around uh, 153 million shares, around 20.3 times the average daily volume, equivalent around 29.8 million uh, dollar share, uh, 29.8 million dollar worth. Anyway, our passcode for today is index rebalancing. 
So again, repeat nyo na lang, no? Kung hindi nyo nakakuha, tapos ilista nyo na lang. So again, thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye!